For our final step, we'll connect the template with a product in our store. Go to Link Products to select a product from your store and assign a template to it. By clicking Choose Template, you'll be able to connect the product with a template from your list. Always connect it with the template with the largest number of variables. In this case, it's four dogs. Once the template is assigned, we will create the options customers will use to make their choices. These are the dropdowns, swatches, and text inputs customers will see on your store. Simply name the option set for this product and it will be assigned to it automatically. You can see the created option set in gray. The only thing remaining is to include the templates for fewer number of dogs. We will go to Option Sets and manually edit the option set we just created. By adding a new option, we will include the option for customers to choose the number of dogs they'd like. It will be a drop-down for customers to choose the number of dogs. We'll assign to the option the function to change templates. Then, create the values for the drop-down and on each value select the template for that number of dogs. You can rearrange the options order by dragging them. Lastly, we'll condition the dog options to appear only when a certain amount of dogs is selected. For example, the breed option for dog 4 should only appear when the number of dogs is 4. To set a condition, go to the option, click Conditions and add the rule. Remember to condition the pet's name as well. Then, apply the same rules to condition the rest of the dogs. Now that we are done setting conditions, let's save the option set and go check how the product looks. And, there it is. Just like that, we have the preview working. Now go ahead and try it yourself. If you have any questions, click the link below to visit our help center. Goodbye and happy customizing.